Hey guys, this video is sponsored by RadFitPro.com. They're a startup CBD company with two products out right now, Cleopatra and Ogun. If you guys are interested, go to RadFitPro.com and use promo code RADICAL to get 10% off. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Now, um, I want to make a video just to update everybody in case you guys haven't heard or don't know. But shout out to Burr Martinez. Burr Martinez is a wonderful person that I had the pleasure, pleasure, pleasure of interviewing. I made a few videos about her when the situation, the unfortunate situation happened to her and her family on the hands of her brother-in-law. And the thing is that um, there was a uh, video that she posted saying that he was sentenced. And basically, pretty much, I I'll, let, I I'll play the video a little bit. Whatever, I'm in a fucking wheelchair, but I'm still fucking me. This wheelchair does not define me. Yo siempre voy a ser bird. Bird motherfucking thing is bitch. Y vale madre en una pinche wheelchair. En una bed with scars, no scars. With a ventilator, with a fucking whatever the fuck. I'm still fucking me. So anyways, she was there and I was like, why the fuck is she here? She was listening to everything. I fucking saw my, well, I saw this guy sitting there. He's like fucking this fat guy he's like 300 pounds with long hair and i'm like who the fuck is that i thought maybe he's like the guy that's before my brother-in-law comes out and then i hear this motherfucker talk it's my fucking brother-in-law he went in like 150 pounds maybe 160 this motherfucker gained like 100 pounds he's like fat a big guy and I'm like what the fuck this motherfucker is happy up in there so anyways so first they offered 34 years then they said no that my my side said no that's too little she he fucking gave her a bodily something injury so it was attempted murder um something bodily injury um violation of probation the gun, the, he had a gun charge, something with a knife. He had like five fucking charges. His bail was $2 million. That's a lot. Over here in California, it's like $150,000. And you only have to pay like um, 10%. So it's like 15,000. So 10% of, two, I think it's 200 million. I don't know, I can't do the fucking math. So anyways, so he's like, um, the, the fucking, judge said well i'm fucking rec recommending life or whatever and he's like your honor yes that's what i deserve the fuck that's what you deserve you deserve to fucking die that's what you do and perdona mediosito pero that's the pendejo este pendejo and this is where the fun starts so this is me burr motherfucking tines um when i was in the hospital I said that I was gonna, I said whenever they do the sentencing, whenever I see him, I'm gonna walk up in that bitch. And this is me in bed. And they're telling me, you're a quadriplegic. You're never gonna walk. You never da 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 And in my cabeza, ¿sabes qué? Yo voy a caminar, hijos de su puta madre. ¿Saben por qué? Porque tengo corazón y Diosito es grande y yo voy a hacerlo porque voy a hacerlo y lo voy a hacer. Porque mi mamá está rezando y toda mi pinche Birkin está rezando, mi familia, toda mi gente que me quiere un chingo está ahí por mí. So, me están rezando y me va a hacer el milagro, Diosito. So, guess what? I walked up in that bitch. All fucking slow. Fucking negative miles, no negative miles, no negative something a minute. But I walked up in that bitch. I walked with my head off, toda chueca, toda así. Mi gusto es y quién me lo va a quitar? Solamente Dios del cielo me lo quita. Mi gusto es. So we get there, and as soon as we get there, um, I'm walking right, and you see my mother-in-law, my father-in-law, and they're like, she's here. And then Mackenzie's dumbass, she went like this, and I'm not kidding you. I'm not exaggerating. 
she goes like this. She couldn't control her mouth. You know what I'm saying? She couldn't control her mouth. She was shook it. Of course, I would have been shook it too. But they helped me and I went up. And I said, first of all, first of all, it's not the same. First of all, I just want to say that I don't forgive you. You are supposed to protect my kids. You are their only uncle from Mario's side. You messed up our lives. I don't remember exactly what I said. You messed up our lives. You tried to destroy my family. You made a choice. I know mental health issue is, is real. I know mental health issues are real, but guess what? We all have them. Everybody is going through depression, anxiety, body dysmorphia, some fucking, you know, little, even if it's something little, for, a, for one person, it could be a big deal. Everybody's going through something. But you were thinking, I'm gonna hurt Erica. You planned it. You fucking, you wanted to hurt me. And what hurts me the most is that you did it in front of my kids. They're never gonna be the same. They are traumatized forever. My son saw me bleeding on the floor, blood everywhere. I I didn't I couldn't breathe. You know, how many times were but that I stopped breathing in the hospital? They had to like bring me back. He hurt me so much, and I said I fed you. I chose your first outfit for your freshman day of school. His first day of ninth grade, I chose his outfit. I listened to him too. I was there for him. I don't know why he decided to do this and stab his brother too. Stab your brother too. I said I said a bunch of things. I said, you hurt my mother. You hurt this whole family. But you know what? I know you think you're a gangster. You think you're a fucking cholo. Why didn't you go do the one? Go get down with one of your homies. You decided. You this decided to hurt me, a woman. And I said, you try to break me, but guess what? You're never gonna break me. You couldn't break me, and you couldn't kill me. I will cook again, and I've cooked already. But I'm gonna cook. I don't care how to burn my hands a million times. I am gonna fucking cook and I will do this. So anyways, I said my thing and he's like rolling his eyes or I don't know what the fuck he was doing when I crack it. So anyway, so now it was my brother-in-law's turn. I was like, bitch, what the fuck you wanna say? What the fuck do you have to say? Like the fuck, nothing you say is gonna fix anything. It's not gonna change anything. So this is what he said. He said, Mandy, I know it was a normal day for you, but it wasn't for me. I was going through so much. I had been going through so much for the past two years and a half. It wasn't me that did it. I wasn't in the right state of mind. I was going through so much. Of course, he's gonna talk about himself. What else is he gonna do? Of course, me, 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 me. And you guys, I love you guys so much. You guys are my family. You guys mean so much to me. This motherfucker didn't even say sorry. He was just talking about himself. Oh my gosh. I was like, I just want to leave. I wish I would have taken my wheelchair to leave. But no, if I walked out, I was going to listen to it anyways because I was going to walk so damn slow. I was going to be like, Toda mamona. And he was going to finish his speech. And then the, all the people were going to leave and I was still going to be leaving. So I was like, oh my gosh. And then he said that he kept saying that he loved us. And that he didn't mean to do it. And that it was the voices in his head and his mental health issues. And he kept repeating the same stuff. And that he's a dad, he's a father. I'm like, all of a sudden you remember you're a dad. But you know you're not going to see your daughter now that you're in jail. So you weren't thinking about her back then. I just don't understand. I wish she would have said, like, um, the reason I did it was this. I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to get the answer. And it's okay because I don't even want the answer at this point. So that was it. Um, then the judge sentenced him. 
And yes, bitch, yas. He got life as he should. So he got life. Um, and then he got plus six years. But the bad news is that he got um life with the possibility of parole. But it's okay because I'm gonna show up, you know, whenever there's a whatever the parole thing in my jiggy. I'm gonna roll up in there. I'm gonna walk up in there. And if I'm not there, one of my kids will walk up in there. And if my kids aren't there, my fucking, one of my familia will go. And if not, one of my motherfucking bird gang members will go. You know, it's on and popping. You're not gonna get out. Now, you guys heard that and it's wonderful news. Homie got life. Uh, he, uh, she, she, she felt how she felt. You know, she even said that she wanted to walk there no matter, no matter how slow it was or whatever the case is. And that she is continuously going to go over there and make sure that he isn't going to get parole or whatever the case is. If it's not hers or kids or whatnot. And that's, you know, yeah, because uh, this was a family member that took, took the, the, took their innocence of their family away because he was part of the family right and he was supposed to be somebody to protect them and he took that away from them so yeah i understand why she will feel some type of way about it obviously of course you know um and more power to them more a shout out to them because you can see that she's recovering little by little and they're actually and they couldn't they could not um you know, cover the lights of Burr Martinez, especially from her and her family. You know, definitely, definitely shout out to them. Um, she, they, they thought all the news articles were even saying that she might be par paraplegic. No, she's actually walking. You know, it might be little by little, but she's still walking and walking. I think later on, later on, later on, with more practice and everything, she'll come back to normal. But she's still alive and she's still healthy and she's still kicking. So definitely, definitely, definitely a good thing. Now, with the whole sentencing of the matter, I didn't think he was going to get life. I thought he was going to get like 25 or something like that. But yeah, I, I do see that it's actually a good thing. I believe that the three strike laws um, in California came into effect. I don't know too much about it. I'm going to have to dig a little bit too, a little bit di uh, deep into that. But I know that, you know, that w that is something that was very unexpected. Um, on my end, but it's something very, very, very good. Um, so I just want to give a huge shout out to Burr Martinez and her family. Definitely, I want to go out there and even interview her because you know she does bring in a, a positive, positive, positive attitude and light into any room that she comes into. You know what I'm saying? So um, let me know what you guys think. Shout out to Burr Martinez and her family, and uh, give me your your comments down below. All right, peace.